Well, hi again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another look at Chess Base 11. In our last video, last couple of videos, in fact, we were looking at how to do material balance searches in Chess Base. How to look for different material balances, different uh, combinations of material on the board. What we looked at were, it was the old club argument, would you rather have a queen or two rooks argument. Uh, there's another wonderful club argument that comes up all the time at chess clubs all over the place, and that is basically involving minor pieces. There are different variations on this particular argument. So just to reinforce how to use the material search dialog in Chess Base 11, we'll look at the, uh, another couple of these arguments and look at some uh, look at some results. First thing you'll recall, you want to right click on the database that you wish to search and select search brings up the search mask. You'll probably see game data come up automatically. When you do, just click the reset button just out of a, a matter of habit. Then go to material, the material tab. And what I want to look at is the age-old argument, what's better two knights or two bishops? Now, of course, the answer really is depends on what else is on the board. Generally, if you've got pawns on both sides of the board, the bishops tend to be a bit better than the knights. But we'll just take a look and just see what kind of end games come up, see what kind of games we can pull up out of the database. So the way we did it, you'll recall, you find the piece that you want to, uh, you want to add to your search. We want two knights. So here's the, the knight. Doesn't matter whether, whether we do black or white because we're going to leave ignore colors checked. So we'll go over here and we'll click the little arrows or we can highlight and use the keyboard and type in a 2. Here's a cool little shortcut, which is that if you click right on the picture of a piece, it fills in the boxes with the number 1. That's just a shortcut if you only need one of a particular piece. I just figured I'd throw that out there while we're here. I've got two knights against two bishops. Ignore colors is checked, so it will pull up games in which there are two white bishops against two black knights. We click OK and the search begins. And this, uh, this cranks along at a pretty good clip, uh, considering that it's searching about 5 million games in this database for a particular combination of pieces on the board. It's actually doing it you know, fairly rapidly. It's not a bad little time for this search. In fact, we're almost done. We're up to about almost 90% of the search has been completed. Down here in the lower right-hand corner is where it displays that. Now we've got to 100%. And we can scroll down and have a look. and we've turned up over 7,500 games in which this motif occurs. Click on a game, of course you get notation down here, and if you jump to the end of the game you will find, here we go, jump to the end of the game and you will find uh, there are two knights against two bishops. You can just go through the database and just click on games and see these different endings. There we go. That one game keeps coming up at the beginning of the game because that I had clicked on it before it was ready. And there we go. The final position of the game is where uh, the final move of the game actually clears off a rook. Notice. So sometimes you'll click on a game also, and if the final position has the positional motif that you were looking for, it will actually jump you to the beginning of the game. So you need just to go right to the end to see how it turns out. But just click on games and you will see your two bishops against two knights. That's one of the arguments you always run into. Another argument is one bishop against one knight. So we can try that one. We just go to each of these boxes where the numbers are and just click the down arrow. That subtracts one from whatever number is in there whereas clicking the up arrow adds one. So we want one knight against one bishop. And we will click OK. And again it's streaming through this search at a pretty good clip. It's about a third of the way done at this point. So the search should only take about a minute or so, possibly less. Once again, you go down to the lower right-hand corner of the screen and you can see your progress bar. And we are done. And just for chuckles, we will scroll down and see that we have 166,003 games. 
in which this positional motif occurs. There you see a bishop against the knight, bishop against the knight, bishop against the knight, etc. You can play through some games and you can uh, make an attempt to determine for yourself which is better. Another way to do it also would be just to limit it to, if you uncheck ignore colors, you could actually do the search in which you've got the knight against the bishop, white knight against black bishop, and just look at the results of the games. Who wins more games, white or black, and satisfy uh, yourself as to what the correct answer in that argument is, which is better knights or bishops. Of course, as a general rule of thumb, as I said, if there are pawns on both sides of the boards, uh, of the board, the bishop is generally better than the knight, whereas if there's pawns on one side of the board, uh, the knight generally does a little bit better. But you can have a look and find games just on the numbers. Uh, do material searches in chess base 11. There are some other little toggles in this dialogue, and we'll look at one of those, actually three of them, in our next video. Until then, I'm Steve Lopez for USCFSales.com. Thanks for watching.